Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. A lot of people have been wondering how you can reward your Rust players for joining your Discord server. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do today. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to hopefully show you the different things that you can do on your servers in order to make you stand out from the thousands of servers that are already out there. So if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. And of course, if you take any value out of this video make sure you leave me a great big thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section down below and if you want to take it one step further check me out at patreon.srtbull.com so there are quite a few steps involved with making this happen first of all we have to make a discord bot now i understand if you've watched some of my previous tutorials i've already shown you how to do this so for those of you that have been around for a while this is going to be a little bit of repetition but for those of you that this is your first video of mine that you've ever watched in regards to discord then you'll probably want to pay attention to that section once we have the discord bot set up and actually invited into our server that step is finished and we'll use that information later then we need to install the rust rewards plugin itself and i'm going to go through that with you step by step so don't worry about that but the third section is where the variables start coming in it's where you get to make the choice of what happens once somebody actually gets verified in your discord so i'm going to break this video all up into chapters so that you can skip to the sections that you need to if you already know how to set up a discord bot you can obviously skip this next section right here and go into the next chapter so while i'm already at the discord rewards page on the umod website i'm just going to click the download button right there. One thing that I actually do want to mention that I've actually never mentioned before is this blue donate button right here. If you actually choose to donate to the developers of these plugins, that money goes directly to them. Now, it's something that I've always been really surprised about is the fact that these developers are actually creating plugins. They're using their expertise to create these plugins that we all use and they don't charge us a single dime for it. So I'm going to start reminding people on each one of my videos going forward that there's a donate button where you can contribute to the developers of these plugins. And it doesn't have to be very much buy them a coffee, buy them a beer, whatever. A couple of bucks here and there, it makes a big difference when there's thousands and thousands of people downloading and using your plugin. And also asking you for support for free. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think it's a good idea that I go forward reminding people that there's actually a way that we can donate to the developers. Let me know what you guys think. If you've never set up a Discord bot, you're going to want to go to discord.com slash developers slash application. It's going to take you to a page that looks just like this. However, you're not going to have any applications there. As you can see, I already have a bunch, but in theory, your page should be empty. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the top right hand corner here. We're going to click on new application. So we're going to give this application a name. Now, this isn't going to be like a regular bot because it's not going to perform any other functions unless you're using an existing bot. If you're already using an existing bot that you have on your server, don't go in and change its name just for the purpose of this plugin. But because this bot is only going to be doing the verification process for my test server, I'm going to name it something that actually shows that. So I'm going to call this application message me for verification. I don't actually know if that name is too long and it might not show up correctly, but I'm going to try it anyways. So we're going to click on create. So here we are at our application. Now, all of this information, for those of you that are thinking that you might want to try and use some of my keys or something like that, just know that after this video is done being recorded, I'm actually going to delete this application. So all of this information is no longer going to be there. So if anybody from Discord is seeing this, just know that this information cannot be abused. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to the bot on the left hand side there, and then we're going to click on the add bot button. Yes, we want to add a bot to this application and we're going to leave it called that. And I'm just going to give this bot the same avatar that I use for my own Discord. So now this token right here is what we're going to need to transfer over into the Rust Rewards plugin configuration file. But don't worry about that for right now. Just know that this is where the information is that we need to get. So before we go any further, we're going to go into Privileged Gateway Intents and we're going to toggle on both of these options right here. So once we have all that done, of course, we're going to click on Save Changes in the bottom right hand corner. Now our bot is all set up. We have our name of our bot. We also have our avatar set up. Now we're going to go into the OAuth 2 section and this is where we're going to actually invite the bot to the Discord. So down at the bottom of the screen here, right in the middle, you're gonna see this box right here labeled bot. We're gonna click on that. And then we're just gonna give this bot administrator purposes. This bot isn't gonna do anything other than what we tell it to do. So don't worry about risking your server because it's not a risk. So we're gonna give that administration privileges and then we're gonna click on copy there. So what this is doing is it's creating an invite link so that we can bring the bot into our Discord server. So just open up a new tab in Chrome and then I paste in the link that I just got from the developer portal. And this is gonna take us to the standard invite page 
page that we're all used to seeing. So we just need to select which server we actually want to invite this bot to, click on continue, and it's just going to confirm that yes, we do actually want to give this bot administrator privileges inside of our Discord. So we can click on authorize. Yes, we are human. And apparently we have to do a capture here. Now I know you can't see this very well, but now you can see this bot is actually in my Discord and it's showing as offline. But don't worry about that. As soon as we actually put this information into the plugin configuration file, it's going to come online and it's ready to start doing work for us, which is great. That's exactly what we want. So yes, we have the bot in the server. Now we're done with that for now. So while we're still at Discord, there's another step that is actually a little bit later on, but we can deal with this right now. Do you want to give your players a separated role in your Discord so that they show that they're actually verified for your Rust server? If you do, you just go into your server settings, go into roles, and you can just create a new role here. If you have any experience with building a Discord server, you know that this part is super easy. As you can see here, I have the server verified role that I've already set up during my testing process. You can do the exact same thing. Give it a color, do whatever you want to do with that role. The only thing that I suggest you doing on top of that is display role members separately from other online members. This will make it so that your verified members will show up differently than just your regular online members. Once we're done with all of that, we're now ready to actually install the plugin into our server. So just like you've done with every other plugin that you've ever installed, you're obviously going to install Discord rewards into your Oxide slash plugins folder. And because I have plugin watchers turned off, I actually have to manually reload the plugin, even though I actually just installed it and it hasn't been run. So if you have plugin watchers turned off as well, and after you've reloaded the plugin, you notice that you get a couple of errors, you should, you should expect that. So it's going to say default configuration has been loaded. Cool. That's what we need. The configuration doesn't have the bot API key. That's okay. We're going to get that here in a second. And I actually expected it to show a different error too, saying that it doesn't know what discord role you want to assign to your verified players. So let's go into our configuration file and get all of that stuff sorted out. Discord rewards. Okay. So this is where all the information is going to go from the discord information that we just created. We need bot ID. We also need the role ID that we're going to be utilizing to differentiate verified players from just regular online players. So the first thing that we need is the discord bot ID. So for that information, we can go back to the discord developer page and then we go down to the bot and this is the token right here. This is the information that we need to transfer into our configuration file. So I'm just going to manually copy that, even though you can just click on this copy button, it does the same thing. And then we're just going to post it in that bot ID right in that location right there. So we're going to replace where it says put bot key here with our actual bot key. Now, the other thing that it's going to look for here is the discord role that we want to actually grant to the player after they've been verified. So to get that information, let's go to our Discord, let's go to server settings, let's go into roles, scroll all the way down to where you see server verified, and we're gonna right click on this. And it says copy ID right here. This is the ID of the role that we're gonna grant to the players that get verified. Now, if you don't have this copy ID option right here, when you right click on a role, that means that your Discord is not set up in developer mode. So to put your server into developer mode, you wanna click on the gear right next to your name. We wanna scroll down to advanced, right there. And then we want to make sure that this toggle right here is turned on, obviously developer mode. So if you can't right click on something and get that item's ID number, this is why, because you don't have developer mode turned on. All right. So we're going to right click on server verified. We're going to click on copy ID. Now we can close out of this. We can go back to our configuration file and we're actually going to paste in that role right there, just like that. That's the most complicated aspect to setting this up. Now where the option comes in, is what do you want to actually have happen when your player verifies with your Discord? Do you wanna just give them items? As you can see here by default, it's set up to give that player a thousand stone. Well, maybe that's not enough for your server. You wanna do more. Let's say that you wanted to give your verified players even more of a reward than just a thousand stone. So then you can change this up to whatever you want. And of course you can add more lines to this. You can give your verified players whatever it is that you want. But over and above that, there's a ton of different things that you can do in this location. Let's say you have the ability on your server to spawn in my mini slash my mini. But let's say that you only wanted your verified discord members to be able to actually utilize that function. So using this method right here, this would grant the player, whichever player was verified, that permission that's associated only with spawn mini. So going forward, as soon as they're verified, now all of a sudden they're able to use the command slash my mini. Let's say once the player was actually verified, you wanted to just add them to a group that already has a bunch of permissions already granted to it. So we could set up like a better chat group or an 
dioxide group or whatever you want to call it. Let's say we call it Discord Verified. And then in that group, we'll have permissions such as maybe a different kit or my mini or different and teleportation options. So maybe more homes or smaller cooldown times. The options are unlimited. You could quite easily make this very overpowered for players that just simply get verified. Now, of course, you can also make it do absolutely nothing, but only give them a tag next to their name saying Discord Verified. Simply by setting up a better chat group, using Discord rewards to add that player to that group, and all it simply does is shows up next to their name that they're Discord Verified. So a great real life example of that is in my Ominous server. So I obviously I have my Ominous Rust server and I have my Ominous Discord. And if you join my Discord and you get verified in game, you get access to a chainsaw and a jackhammer. And that's claimable by using slash kit. And obviously things like that can get abused. You don't want people to be able to use a chainsaw and a jackhammer usually on the first day. My Ominous server is a 2x server and I don't want that. So I put a timer on it so that they can't actually use that kit within the first 24 hours of a wipe. Anyways, I'm getting way too specific. There's a ton of options that you can use here, but do let me know in the comment section down below what kind of things you would like to see happen once players were verified in your Discord. What kind of rewards would you like to see handed out when somebody gets verified? So let's just roll that back here so that you can actually see what happens when I get verified. Let's save this, go back over to our console and let's reload the plugin. Connected to bot, message me for verification, found in one guild, that's your Discord and everything looks good here. So now we can go in game and I can actually show you what this process looks like and what the end result is going to be. And before we go any further, you should also notice that as soon as I put that information into configuration file, reloaded the plugin, it also made this bot now go online. So here he is right here, message me for verification. And so now that I'm in the server, I can go in chat and I can do slash verify just like that. And then it gives you a code to actually message the bot with. So now I can go up to my bot. I can click on here and I just want to type in the message and I want to repeat what is in chat right there. And it's important to recognize capitalization because it absolutely matters. That can be changed in the configuration file. All right. And the bot responds back saying success. You are now verified. Check for your rewards in game. So if we go in game, as you can see there, I was gifted 10 supply signals and I was given 25,000 metal fragments. Obviously that's a little bit overpowered, but I did want you guys to see what actually happened once you get verified. Now, something that's important that I point out, if you happen to do your role first and then you invited your bot with a different permission, that bot is actually gonna be lower on the hierarchy from the role that you actually created. So as you can see here, my server verified is above the bot's permission level. And as a result of that, it did not assign a new role to me to show me as server verified. And if we go over to the console for my Rust server, you can actually see that it actually says, hey, there's a problem here. Discord API has returned a Discord code, blah, 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 missing the permission. It's basically telling you that the bot doesn't have a high enough permission to grant the role because nobody can grant a role for a role that's higher than they are. So let me just change that up here real quick. Let's go into server settings, roles. Let's actually move this bot above the server verified. We're going to save that there. We're going to reload the plugin again and it should be okay now. Yeah, there we go. So I reloaded the plugin. The bot was then able to assign that role to me, which then of course makes me stand out from the rest of the players that are just online. They're not server verified. So there you go. Those are all the steps that are required in order to reward your players for joining your discord as well as getting verified. So really the most complicated aspect of this is what do you want to reward your players with? Do you just want to do a one time give out and it just auto automatically goes into their inventory or do you want to grant them access to a kit that they can claim at their own convenience? Totally up to you. Both ways work. I personally think that it's better to give access to a kit with a cooldown, a maximum usages, all this other stuff that all goes into designing kits. So the breakdown goes like this. Create a Discord bot. Give that bot the correct permissions from the developer portal. Invite the bot to your Discord server. Create a role in your Discord server that is going to separate your verified players from the rest of the online players. Install Discord rewards. Transfer the information from your Discord, so your Discord bot ID, as well as your role ID that you want to grant. Transfer that into the configuration file for Discord rewards. Decide what rewards you actually want to give to the player once they're verified, and that's it. You're done. It's actually a super simple process. It just seems like there's an awful lot of steps involved here. And that is Discord rewards in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys again next Friday.